The signal, luckily, we were able to get most of the information from Chris before the signal froze. So we, uh, we apologize. We'll be working on that. And I'm sure Chris will be back with us in later newscasts. All right, a 13 year old girl is under arrest tonight for stealing a car and then minutes later crashing that car into a house. Police have charged her with grand larceny. In the meantime, the owner of the house is left to deal with considerable damage. Marcy Natal has more. Driving it down the street, the people said they could hear her driving it because she was driving so fast. Collins Moe describes how this car ended up here against his house on Lawn Ave. And when she got to the corner of Lawn and Pearl, she made the left turn and couldn't control it. She is a 13-year-old from Albany. According to police, the teen stole the car Monday morning from the parking lot of the YMCA just a block away. She obtained the keys from a locker, an unlocked locker, and went out in the parking lot and stole the car. It's an unfortunate incident. It's unfortunate for the victim who had their car stolen, uh, our member. It's unfortunate for this young child because it's a crime of opportunity. Another car was stolen from the YMCA's parking lot yesterday. Police have located it and are investigating whether there is a connection to the teen who stole this car. You can see this post right here, center post of the windows. You can see the angle is tilted. Mo points out the damage to his house is worse than it looks. He says the house has shifted slightly off its foundation. I'm too old to worry about having my nerves break down. I try to take it with a grain of salt because I'm so peed about it. Marcy Natal, CBS 6 News, Albany. This, by the way, is not the first time that this house has been hit by a car, unbelievably. You'll hear the homeowner's story coming up at 6.30 tonight.